funny thing is I just felt a shift in the energy and I also felt a few other Bla Blue Avians step forward as well. And there seems to be about five of them here. And I usually don't get more than two of these really high dimensional ones. But now there's quite a few in my room and it's pretty intense. <laughs> this ne next message is for people that are star seeds or that have strong star seed energy and that have awakened to their star seed origins that they are aware that they are not from earth this is a more masculine blue avian that's stepping forward and talking about this he's saying we count on you to come to earth incarnating in this lower density and being able to raise in vibrational frequency this is one of the main fulfillments this is the main fulfillment of what we have come here to do is to raise in frequency and awaken our consciousness you are the souls that we are monitoring it's weird the way they said that <laughs> or that weird, weird the way i said that <laughs> you are the souls that we are monitoring and watching looking out for over time you will begin to see your true purpose here do not worry do not worry He's saying it takes time for us to move things behind the scenes, to get things in working order, to move the energy. It Everything happens in divine timing, timing. You might want things to happen now or are ready for things to happen now, but they are not because this is in accordance with divine timing. They are working with on things on the other side and that sometimes takes time. And it's not only that, it's the current world events that are happening and the energy that is on Earth. Is it best for it to happen at this time? No, maybe it's not. That's why they're saying it takes time. Divine timing. Everything comes in divine timing. And you realize this when that time comes. You start to realize that this has come at the right time. He's saying everything is perspective. Everything is energy. So it's at which... He's saying, at what vantage point do we choose to look at life? From what vibrational frequency? From what energy? If we are going to look at life with an open mindset, he's saying it, it is wise to look at life with an open mindset, a positive mindset, if you wish to do that, if you choose to do this. We are here for you, for the universe. <laughs> He's like, we are the universe. We are working in accordance with the universe. He's saying it's wise to work with the universe <laughs> instead of against it and instead of against bucking up against the current. He's even saying some people are meant to buck up against the current for a time, but eventually it is best to and wisest to learn to work with the universe so that things can work out more in your favor in life. He's saying, of course, everything's not going to work out in your every, a favor. Everything's not going to be positive all the time here on Earth. That's part of the agreement that we made incarnating in this lower density. But things can be made easier. Things can be, be, be made better. And most of what Earth is, is responding to things within our life. Responding to events that happen to us. Things that happen to us. How do we respond to them? And what perspective, what vantage point do we see this being? Seeing the negative things that happen to us as an opportunity for growth is a great way to look at things. Sometimes just brushing it off and not really thinking about it all that much at all is a great thing as well. Even, <laughs> he's saying, even these negative things that are happening to us, sometimes we don't even need to give them much thought at all or overthink them at all. Or even overthink them and say, oh, is this for my spiritual growth? Oh, is this for my... Sometimes it's just best to move on with life. He's saying we, the Blue Avians, are masters of detachment, of letting things go. This is one of our strong suits. And he is saying this is one of my strong suits as well. The art of detachment. He's talking to me, maybe you do this a little too well because I check out uh, on this earth a little too much. He's saying part of the reasons why that I check out and detach 
is because this vibrational frequency here isn't very high a lot of the time and that my consciousness likes to hover outside of my body in a higher vibrational field. He's saying that this is also due to the fact that I've had so many avian-like lifetimes. I want to fly. I want to escape this human body at times. Moving on, he is saying, consciousness. Moving on, he is saying, our consciousness is indeed very expansive. If you were able to tap into this part of your higher consciousness, of the full aspect of yourself, this is where you access your full potential. He's saying this is not super complicated, it, and it's not meant to be super complicated. Simply by silencing our mind, by reaching states of meditation, and raising our vibrational frequency, this gives us more full access to our entire being. This is where the full potentiality of the human consciousness is realized and self-realization. He's saying it's not the fact that humans here on Earth, they are the ones that are holding themselves back with limiting beliefs. They have a consciousness that is wonderful and beautiful, but they are the ones that are perpetuating these limiting beliefs. By self-realization of realizing the full aspect of our consciousness and these limiting beliefs as well, we start to realize self-realization, the full potential of our self, of the self. He's saying. He's saying everything is energy, and when this happens, when you awaken to this part of yourself, you can program what you want to happen in your life, what you want to manifest in your life, how you want to grow as a human being. Do you want to grow as a human being? He's saying this self-realization is growth. This is growth. Because once you do this, it is difficult to go back to the closed-minded self where you have the blinders on and the limited beliefs. It is difficult to go back to that once you have awakened and, and seen the truth. Because this has opened your, you up to the full aspect of your being, the full light, consciousness, much more light is flowing through your vessel and it feels much better to you. He's saying, oh, I know you can't do a lot of things. You may, might not be able to go out in crowds of lots of people or do activities that you've done in the past, but overall it is much more enjoyable in the long run. Female shifting direction. This is when the female blue avian begins to come in a little bit. This female blue avian is picking up where the masculine blue avian left off and she's saying once we do realize this self-realization about ourself of the full aspect of our being our higher consciousness our higher self then what do we choose to do she's saying it would be wise those of who you are on this spiritual journey to program yourself and say oh I want to love myself. Talk kindly to yourself. This is not only so that you feel better, it's so that you are manifesting from a place, a very positive place, which creates a more positive experience in your life. Not only that, creates a more positive outcome in the way, uh, it creates a more positive outcome in terms of your soul's growth. This is all a part of the ascension process and she loves all of us and loves that we are exploring this part of ourselves. And she has uh, a lot, in fact, all of these blue avians here are showing a lot of love to a lot of the star seeds that have come here to incarnate here because they didn't have to. They're doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. She's saying, much in the same way that we are leaving many of these limiting beliefs behind, we may have to leave some of these people behind as well, because they are no longer a vibrational match to our newly awakened self. Whether these people are in your family or whether they are your friends, it is wisest. It is wisest to do what is best for you in the future and at this moment in time.
Sometimes we have to let go of the relationships that we are no longer vibrationally congruent with in order to find more high vibrational relationships in the future. The period of isolation that might ensue is a difficult one, but she knows that this is part of the awakening process, part of the ascensioning process. And it takes times, it takes time for things to manifest into this physical reality. This is why this time of isolation is needed. A lot of times the time, the energy changes first then the physical reality follows suit in terms of physical relationships, etc. This happens in the same way our limiting beliefs do. Once we let go of our limiting beliefs and awaken to our new high vibrational programming, the energy changes first, and then the physical reality happens after. She is quite chuckling. Many of us starseeds expect things to happen instantly. But that's not how it works on Earth, she is saying. This is why many of us are quite frustrated with the way things manifest here on Earth, because things happen at a much slower speed. In our extraterrestrial bodies or origins, we were able to manifest things on a much faster, instantaneous level. This causes us to be frustrated when we come into human form. This is the last thing this female blue avian is to say. She's saying, always stick to who you are. Always remember who you are. Do not listen to, the, to those that tell you you are inadequate because you are the light and you will always be. And that is the last thing that she has to say. And the blue avians are starting to back away now. I thought this video was pretty enlightening and I think they talked a lot of, about a lot of things and they really came in in a beautiful way these blue avians so I thought that was pretty cool but if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we also have the mediumship 102 course coming up and it's going to be exciting Christian Davies and I will be in this course teaching this it is going to be a little bit more intensive than the mediumship for beginners course but that's not a prerequisite to this course but it will be exciting if you want to learn how to channel like this if you want to learn how to communicate with your guides etc the angels it would be a great way to do that but uh, if you want to check out my tiktok i have a lot of information about ets on there as well it's also pretty excited i do want to get on more of a schedule with uploading on youtube that's gonna be pretty cool too. And I do have some other plans as well. But thank you for watching the video.